Hey guys, this is I'm Ghost of You, and I'm showing off uh, a game I built using the Python coding language. Uh, the reason I built this is because uh, it's a roguelite game called uh, Dungeon Run is what I've named it. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep the name. It depends on how uh, uh, devel development comes with the game. If it, you know, it's just kind of like I I needed a name for it, and I just like eh, dungeons. Ah, let's name it Dungeon Run. Anyway, it's a roguelite game built on the uh, Python. Uh, coding language platform and I wanted to get in the Python language because uh, I never really messed with it and I just recently reheard about it and I like roguelike games and I wanted to make my own and there was it's perfect because there's a, a code pack for Python language specifically designed for building roguelike games and I also found a tutorial so I used the tutorial used use the tutorials code and then I built upon it and I made this which is only version 1.0 it will be, I will plan on updating it um well anyway let's get started so it's dungeon run the this is the main screen it just says dungeon run the uh, by ghost of you version 1.0 um it says new game load the last save or quit and i will just click new game which is a and here we have the dungeon and it's unexplored right now so it's a black screen it says you feel a rush of cold stale air as you enter the dungeon the entrance closes behind you and you realize there's no turning back uh, you have an HP bar, you have 30 health. So, I did use t a lot of code from the tutorial. About 80% of this code is the tutorial's coding. Uh, tweaked, obviously, for my own liking. And uh, I did change the code a bit. Now, what we have here, these little exclamation points are healing potions. And the... Okay, what we have here... These dollar signs are goblins. You can see if I put my cursor over it, it'll show up right here. Goblin. And that's a scroll of confusion, a healing potion, a goblin. And there's also fog or darkness in the dungeon. Like I have a um a torch in my hand or whatever, or a lantern, and there's the it's really dark. And I gotta kill these goblins. And you can pick up the items using the G key. And you can drop items using the D key, like I'm going to drop this healing potion. Well, it does appear below me, see? So I'll pick that back up. Also, there is save game. If I hit F5, there, the game saved. It takes a little while sometimes, see? Game saved. Now, if I go back to the main menu and I hit B, you'll see I start right back where I was, see? Uh, there's a goblin. Now, there are trolls, too, which are white uh, number signs, those are very powerful. I mean, ve I say very powerful, but they do two damage to me instead of one damage. And they have 20 HP instead of 10 HP. Um, anyway, so the tutorial that came with this coding, whenever you were finished the tutorial, you had a game that, this is how it was, it gen randomly generated a dungeon when you started the game. And whenever you exited the game it would save the current state so that you can load it again but once the dungeon that it generated was cleared then there was nothing else to do there was no exit there was nothing it's just you close the game and you start a new dungeon um, there was two monsters f three spells and the potion well I added a spell I added the ability to save the game without having to quit um, I also added an end which is like a staircase uh, right now it's just an E for exit. Let me see if I can find it. And I was pretty proud of myself having only been messing with this coding, by the way. I just started this coding yesterday, actually. It was the very first time I actually tried to learn it. And in two days, I have this made, which it was kind of like 80% done for me when I started. But I'm still pretty proud of myself being able to quickly pick up this code and reverse engineer it into something noticeable, you know? And I don't see an exit. The exit room must be... Oh, no, there it is. Okay. See that E right there? That is the exit. Now, what's so cool about this is the exit room is generated separately from the rest of the dungeon. The exit room is the first thing generated randomly somewhere in the map with a random size, and the exit is always inside of it, and the rest of the dungeon is generated around it. Whoa, four goblins. Oh, I almost died there. And you hit I to open your inventory. Uh, G to pick up items off the ground. Uh oh, I accidentally used the wrong thing. Um, you use... Okay, here's a troll. See that white thing? That's a troll. See, they do 2 damage to me, and I can only do 4 damage to them. 
lightning bolt. Um, I don't have a scroll of poison. Oh, I do have a scroll of poison. Okay, scroll of poison is the the uh, spell that I made. If I do that, he can't move for five turns, and ev and he's damaged with two damage for five turns. So it's pretty cool. And you can just keep going and going and going in this game. Okay. Uh, I will update this game. I'm definitely not finished with it. In the next update will probably include sounds. And I also want to include a scoring system. And I want to... Oh, I died. Okay. Well, there we go. I died. Sorry about that, guys. My game just randomly crashed. Um, sometimes when I exit, it crashes instead of exiting like it's supposed to. But um, I want to include a scoring system and a... <coughs> multi-tier dungeon thing like every time you finish a dungeon it'll say like dun dungeons cleared and every time you go to the next room it'll say you know it'll add one to the number so like when you finish the first room it'll say dungeon cleared one and then when you get to five then the color of the dungeon will change and the monsters inside the dungeon will change and the items inside the dungeon will change and as you progress further the, the dungeons be, you know get different and just to give it some sort of uh, replayability you know and, um, see, there's the save feature. I save back over here, see? Last save. Um, also, I, the one problem, there is one major problem with the generation, the dungeon generation. I have no idea how to fix it right now. But I have a key bound. I'm not going to tell you what key it is. But I have a key bound to automatically generate another, um, dungeon. And I'm going to keep doing that. Okay, look, here's the, here's my biggest generation flaw. Uh, about one out of ten times, oh, I died. It'll generate one of these, which is just you inside of a random box, and that's obviously a major problem. So, anyway, guys, I'll have the link in the description below if you want to download this. If you like it, comment, uh, like the video, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I want to expand this and make it a full-fledged game, so maybe I can uh, get a little bit for it. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just give it away because really, there's there's nothing to, there's nothing you know new here. So anyway, I just wanted to show that off to you guys. I'm really excited about this. Uh, it took me since yesterday about oh I don't know 10 o'clock in the morning. I started working on it. I worked on it pretty heavy yesterday, and then today I've probably worked on it for about three hours altogether. So yeah, I'd say it's taking me about 12 hours. Nah, maybe not 12. About 10 hours to, all together I have ended this. So I hope you guys liked it and downloaded it if you want to try it out. Let me know how I can make it better. I'm looking for feedback. And if any of you knows anything on the Python programming language and you have pointers or if you have a link to a good tutorial or anything, just leave it in the comments below because I definitely need it. I've only started this yesterday. So this is I'm Ghost of You and I'm out.